Hello my fellow Mandalorians, it's your bearded commander here. As always, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so we're starting up an episode of Shelter today. Um, I haven't played this too much. Um, I'm not great at survival games, but we'll see how we do here. Uh, it's got a lot of great reviews. And um, you know, really like the uh, the art style. And the gameplay seems uh, seems kind of cool. I played through a little bit just to kind of get the tutorial down and um, get the um, uh, get the game uh, game controls down and things like that. So um, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Uh, and of course, we're gonna name this uh, this wonderful half pants legged man, bearded man. Uh, let's see if we can get some di different uh, pants legs, shall we? Yeah, sure, that'll work. Like the little leather holster there for the knife. Or sheath, I guess, for a knife. Apologies. Um, deep sleeper, I like that idea. Um, let's see. Let's check out help real quick. Um, hands on, craft faster, optimistic, gain stress slower. Proactive, moves faster in the shelter and whilst exploring. Actually, I like the idea of proactive, so let's do that. And let's give him some good perception. Uh, since he is going to be our explorer here. So street smart, that'll work. Not very strong, not very fast, but you know, he's decently smart and pretty ugly and uh, he's really good at seeing things. So let's let's stick with him. Let's go next. Uh, so next we're going to do a female. Uh, we're going to do this for one of my friends who's uh, actually um, being very... Um, uh, very supportive of the videos here, and, uh, and go ahead and name our uh, female character Whitney. And uh, let's see, we'll give her a, a blue shirt, some blue jeans, I guess. Um, skin color way too dark as always. Let's see if we can lighten that up a bit. There we go. Um, hair color, she's got black hair. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about hairstyles. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so let's make her a small eater and stats wise I want her to be our crafter uh, I don't think and let me just verify but I don't believe that stats dictate crafting um, so much it doesn't look like it so let's just make her well-rounded um, so this is our first son. His name will be Bearded Boy. Worst or best superhero name ever. You decide. Um, again, my entire family is pale, so we're going to make them pale. Uh, I kind of like the look he's got going on, so we're going to keep that the way it is. We're going to make him hands-on. That way he can craft a little bit faster. And stat presets. Uh, let's make him... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do fast and strong. Actually, since we're going to do that, let's do Courageous. Because Courageous, first to attack. Yeah, so he's going to be our attacker, surprisingly enough. Alright, so we've got Bearded Man, Bearded Boy, Bearded Girl. Um, let's, uh, again, I kind of like the, uh, the look we've got going here. Let's just uh, lighten up the skin and change the hair color give her uh, red hair like her daddy that's close enough um, ponytail that'll work that all looks good um, so we're gonna make her a crafter um, oh actually I believe yeah let's see no, she was a small eater well-rounded yeah so we're gonna make her a crafter where's hands on there it is and stats preset wise, um, we're going to give her uh, a good charisma, uh, just in case any traders come by. Um, so we're going to be the Mandalorian family. Uh, pet, uh, I like to have the cat just because it keeps rats out. And uh, it also helps with um, uh, stress, I believe. Yeah, it provides a small stress reduction to all family members. It's passive, so that's good. Uh, I don't know what we'll name the uh, the animal. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll name her after my cat, Scabby. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're not going to play through the tutorial. Do, 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 do. 
Psychopaths will let you know when they're on the edge. They're nice like that. Awesome. That's good to know. Most presidential candidates are like that as well. I kind of go too far sometimes. I apologize. All right, so we're going to go ahead and zoom out. Um, we can't pause the game, but let's go ahead and rearrange the shelter. Uh, so what I like to do um, here in the beginning is just kind of move this stuff over. And hold on. Kind of make everything just a little more streamlined here. And not only that, just to be able to give us a little more room. And we'll move the uh, the water butt right there. All right. Um, we'll leave the crafting and workbench there. Um, let's go ahead and have you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, space to confirm. No. Let's just move that up there. Space. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, upgrade this to level one. And the main reason I like to do that is because it goes it, it will go ahead, excuse me, and unlock beds, uh, which are much better than cots, obviously. And since you're a little crafter, uh, why don't you uh, why don't you build a room for us? Get some of that labor going. And we're gonna have you take a suit, and you take a suit, and we're gonna have you guys go outside and repair our oxygen filter and water filter. Nope, not upgrade. Fix. And then you go fix the water filter. Okay, so we need to get some water soon. We've only got about half a day's water. We've got the little girl in there making a room for us. Alright, so that's been upgraded. So let's go ahead and craft us a bed. Are we able to? We are. So let's go ahead and drop one bed right here. still had there we go still had bearded boy selected um, fuel and the generator so we're good there so the one time that I played through this uh, I may or may not have died by running out of oxygen uh, because if the generator goes off there's no more oxygen um, which kind of sucks to be honest with you uh, once these guys get done with what they're doing, uh, we're going to go ahead and probably go ahead and send them out on a mission. Looks like Bearded Girl is almost tired. I'm sure she is. She's putting up an entire room for the shelter. And Whitney is almost done building the bed. Alright, there we go. So, how about you go ahead and fill the cat's food bowl, please? Now, can I hit... Yeah, left shift. Okay. Alright, so it looks like they're both done. You guys are still feeling okay, so go ahead and put your suit away. And... You go ahead and do the same. You go ahead and sleep. And let me have you craft a... Can we do a makeshift bathroom? So if that is makeshift toilet, yeah we can. So let's go ahead and drop the makeshift toilet down here. Um, so we're going to do you and bearded boy. And we'll just go ahead and send you guys out to the small house. Just close. Oh, nope. Equip and take a pipe. Confirm. Equip, take a pipe, and confirm. So I don't know if gas masks are absolutely necessary, but since they're there, I mean, I figured just go ahead and use them. Alright, uh, accept transmission. Uh, hello, Bearded Boy here. We've stumbled across a small farm and it looks like it might have some good loot. Want us to take a look? Yeah, go ahead and search that location, please. Alright, we need to get another bed. And I don't know if that's something that we're able to craft, and it's not. We need some more nails. So let's go ahead and do a makeshift shower. So let's examine the items that uh, that they found. Um, so definitely want the nail, and this uh, coal is good uh, for later on in the game. Circuit breakers are good. Petrol cans good. Water bottles are good. I mean, all this stuff's good, honestly. 
So we'll go ahead and take everything. Yes. Um, let's see, we found a small house. Should we check it out? Yeah, go ahead and search that location as well. Alright, so we've got our shower built. Um, so we found some canned food, another pipe, some more nails. I don't really want the empty petrol can. Uh, definitely want this stuff, though. Let's get rid of the wood for... well... Hmm... Yeah, we've got 18 wool, so let's go ahead and get rid of the wool and this glass jar. Uh, having sand, limestone, and cement is really good because you can use that to build more rooms. I want to keep the pipe. Well, we've got 21 pipes, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and they can go ahead and come home. Uh, are you able to build a cot? Yeah. So let's go ahead. Can you put a cot down here in the bathroom? That'll work. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and keep all of that. Confirm. Um, yes. Uh, something else that I haven't done yet that I need to do, and I W. Bear with me one moment. Show stats, change character, cancel current job, focus character, accept transmission. That's good to know. I can just hit R to accept the transmission. Automate character, H. So, something that I do like to turn on is to automate the characters. Um, and that will just make them, you know, go get food when they need it, uh, go get water and things like that when they need it. And it looks like we got everybody automated. So it looks like he really needed to use the bathroom. He's going to drink some water, get some food. God, she's been sleeping for like two days straight. Woman, come on. Get the hell out of here. Um, he needs sleep. He doesn't really need sleep. Thank you. Alright, you go sleep. And... You need a shower, so go take a shower. So showers and using the bathroom actually does use up the water, which is alright, I guess. Um, I kind of wish it didn't, um, or at least, I don't know. I mean, it makes sense, but I wish it didn't use up as much water as it does. Uh, actually, bearded boy, you cancel what you're doing. And you actually go build that room. Alright, now he's asleep, she's awake. Do we have any water? We are out of water, so we need it to rain very soon because we are completely out of water. We got people needing to use the bathroom and all other kinds of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put our bathroom right over here. Alright, let's set up an expedition. Let's send you out. And bearded boy. Oh, you know what? We can't because we don't have any water. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to abandon the expedition. Hopefully it'll rain soon. So you go fix that. You take the other suit. And go fix that. Thank you. Um, let's see, let's get them to return their suits, and then actually, can we make another, can we make a, a medium water butt? We can, so that way when it does rain, at least we'll have a good amount of water. Yeah, I understand that you're dying to go to the toilet, and I apologize, but there's not much else that I can do about it right now, because we are completely out of water. Fill that, please. Let's see... Unfortunately, there's really not much that we can do with... Okay. Um, without getting some more water. Um, let's see, tripwire, bandages...
Okay, bedroll. Um, let's go ahead and make a plastic bag. bed. Nope, we're still short on nails. Bookshelf, I'm not really worried about that right now, so let's go ahead and throw another bed down there. And... And let's go ahead and make another wooden crate. Is there anywhere up here that we can put it? It doesn't look like it. So now we can't put stuff out past over there. So let's just go ahead and drop it right here for now. Oh yay, and the bearded man has food poisoning. So unfortunately that's going to end up dirtying up the, the shelter. Let's see if that gives us enough room to put a mop and bucket down there. It does. Alright, you puke, you clean up your own mess. Clean the shelter. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade our... Let's see, durability, output... Uh, that's for the oxygen filter. I'd much rather upgrade the output... No. Upgrade the output of... Okay, so we don't have enough leather to upgrade the efficiency of that. Um, but we can go ahead and upgrade the... Clean shelter, please. You go put a suit on. Okay, you go to sleep. I'm tired of you puking everywhere. It's annoying as hell. Um, so let's go ahead and upgrade... Uh, what is the officer filter resistance dust storms? Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the resistance there. And you fix the generator, please. Go ahead and fix that while you're up there. You do the same. Um, so it's not really looking good for our family. Uh, we haven't gotten any rain. Oh, okay. See, as soon as I say something. Alright, there we go. So we finally got some rain. Clean the shelter. Can you not get better, please? Like, I'm sick and tired of you puking everywhere. Oh, great. Now it looks like she's got poop poisoning, too. That's awesome. Clean up the puke. Go return your suit. God, that's gross. Um, why don't you go ahead and drink some more water there, Wit, and return your suit. Clean the shelter, please. Okay, no more food poisoning, so let's go ahead and set up another expedition. You and the bearded boy are going to go out. Are we, are we really out of water again already? Did you guys use up all the water? The absolute worst. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, the bed definitely needs to be fixed. Fix that. And then go fix that as soon as you're done. Okay, awesome. So we got some rain a little bit earlier there. Yes, cat, I know that you're hungry. Jesus Christ. Um, and we're out of food. So we're going to go ahead and set up an expedition now that we've got water. And in my experience, you don't really find a lot of food at the church. So we're going to actually... 
that's going to cost most of our water. So we'll take a chance and go up here to the question mark and see if we can find anything. Um, so this bag gives us two more slots of inventory, I believe. Yeah, two extra inventory slots, so it's definitely good to have. Uh, we only have the one, uh, but that's okay. Alright, so we're going to send them out. Hopefully the cat doesn't die before they get back. And hopefully they find some food while they're there. Uh, lumber yard, so more than likely no food. Uh, there's somebody here in this lumber yard that wants to talk. Um, okay, I tapped the touchpad with my, my hand there, so I guess we're going to talk to this guy. Well, 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 what is the sorry piece of garbage I see before me? Whoa, who are you calling a piece of garbage? Looks like you could use some order. Hell, I'm a gonna I'm a gonna join your little gang and shape you up good. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, he's got a lot of strength. We just, yeah, sorry. Not gonna happen, buddy. I don't know what to say. Not many people are brave enough to say no to me. See you around, soldier. Okay. I just don't... I can't really afford to have anybody else here right now since, you know, we're out of food already. And we found no food. Take that. We'll take that. We'll take the rope, which looks suspiciously like a noose. And we'll take the paint can. Confirm. Uh, let's go ahead and set up another expedition. Since it rained again. Uh, well, I guess we can only send one person, so... We'll go ahead and uh, send Whitney out by herself. Let's check the church and see if we can find anything. And something that I keep forgetting to do, I like to take one anti-radiation tablets with you, or with me, because it does give, I believe, it's either 40 or 80 trade points um, when um, when you do that. Uh, let's take a look here, uh, if, if you have a chance to trade. Yes, cat, I know. Alright, so let's search the location. Let's let them go to sleep. And please to Oh, okay, we found one food. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. we make a freezer yet? I highly doubt it. They're normally pretty hard to make. Is the freezer in the tier 2? Poor stove. Light. It's all good, great, and wonderful, but I really need... There's the incinerator. Hiding spot, bandages, bedroll, plastic bag. Ah, oh, there it is. Small freezer. Uh, so we need one hinge and one motor, which seem to be pretty hard to find in this game, I found. Alright, go and fill up the cat's bowl before he dies, please. Thank you. Go put on a suit, and go fix the stuff outside, please. Let's see. Fire extinguisher, spike trap, makeshift recycler, moderate snare trap. Now, see, snare traps are good because you can catch rabbits and things, but I believe you have to have a freezer before you can actually keep the meat. Uh, it doesn't. It won't let you just put it inside your um, like the crate or anything. Um, so it doesn't really look like there's anything else good that we can make. And go all home alone and make a paint can trap for people to try to break in, but I haven't had that happen yet. Let's make some blue paint. Let's paint this place. Let's make some more blue paint. And since we got three cans, we'll go ahead and throw some there too. Alright, let's go ahead and set up an expedition. 
Let's do another one. We'll send these two out together. Send them all the way over there and see if they can find anything. And one. And equip. And and I'm equipping these pipes, um, obviously for a weapon, just in case uh, something happens. Let's head out to the wasteland. And if you could make some gas masks, please. Can we do any upgrades to this? Yeah, it looks like we can upgrade the durability, so you could put a suit on. Uh-oh. Uh, I found a small house. Should we check it out? Yes. So it's a nice shelter you have there. How's about I hop in and join you? Nope. F off. Thank you, woman. Upgrade. Durability. Upgrade. Durability. Looks like they want to talk. What should we do? Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to them. What else could go wrong, right? Great, another survivor. Don't give me a goddamn peep about starting a brave new world. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll just say hi then. <laughs> hi. Saw it all left but corpses and morons like you thinking there's still a, a chance. Uh, you know what? Let's fight her. I haven't been in a fight in this game yet. Alright. Wish we had Bearded Boy with us. Oh, look at that counter. Good job, Whitney. Wow. Okay. You have no damage whatsoever. Alright, so you're just gonna defend, because apparently you suck at attacking. What else can we do? Okay, I guess that's it. Alright, I kinda love the fight music, it's pretty great. Okay, you disarmed me. Melee attack again. We've almost got her, guys. I have no idea what this is going to do. I'm assuming it's going to uh, hopefully allow us to to pick up whatever she's got in her body, and I'm hoping that she's got, you know, something in her inventory. Alright, Mandalore, this is riding on you, buddy. Or, I'm sorry, bearded man. Can you finish her off? Yeah! She did. She had some antibiotics, a pipe, and she was carrying around a giant bag of limestone for some reason. We'll go ahead and take everything. Looks like our strength went up. We have trauma. I guess Whitney didn't get nothing, even though she did most of the work. Uh, oh, yes, food. Uh, nail, fuse, nylon, don't want the empty can. Alright, so let's... Uh, looks like there's a small house, but it's a bit out of our way. Uh, yeah, take a little bit of time and investigate, that's okay. More food, circuit board, some plastic. Sure, we'll take the log back. Why not? No. Bearded boy. No, I need you to go fix that. Oh, wait, no, no. Never mind. I remember what that means. Um, no, keep going. Come back. How much fuel have we got? Seven. Okay. Uh, add a little bit more fuel to that, and take your suit off, please. Alright, they are back. 
So we're going to take everything, get us some food and a few other things. And with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Sheltered. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, hopefully we can make a little more headway um, in the next episode and you know, not have a water shortage for half an episode and a food shortage for the last half. And maybe that's the point of this game. So uh, anyway, thank you again so much for uh, joining me, the Bearded Mandalorian, for uh, this episode of Sheltered. Whether you have a beard or not, you're still a Mandalorian to me. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you for joining in.